you know, there's a book. Uh, it's called 1984. Bubkies like to talk about how you know all that socialism. And that's what it would be like under under like communism with the left ones. And it's it's really not. It's Republican Party. There's a um, there's a statement in that book where they talk about how like you the party would like teach you that one plus one equals whatever they tell you to believe it to it, be. You know, seeing them change tax on the uh, January the 6th event, insurrection, whether it be seeing them change tax on climate change. Um, you know, these are unusual times we live in. And, you know, I remember, I'm not too old to remember them having doc uh, discussions on PBS and stuff. I was a PBS kid. I remember having Republicans come on and have, a com have conversations where they'd be like, it's not real. And then now it's it's a communist plot. You know, the, the, the Tycoms want us to do this. And, and and now to see Republicans come out and, and just normalize and say it's, it's going to happen, but it's a good thing. Marty Tillett Green and Paul Gosar are two examples of Republicans that have, that have attempted to normalize climate change. Um, you know, it's 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 to me it's it's a little sad, it's a little terrifying. In Brave New in 1984, there's a segment where it's like a, a rally, and in the middle of the rally, the um they they change the name of the enemy. They have to tear down all the banners and stuff at the last minute just to do it. And as I got older, you know, reading that again, I wonder if they did that. I wonder if this is real life be done, if it'd be done kind of like to make fun, to say that we've got y'all so propagandized that you will in effect believe anything we give you. You'll believe anything. We can change the enemy. We can change the name of the enemy right in front of your face. And that is the Republican Party today. You know, don't believe your eyes. Don't believe your members. Don't believe your facts. People can tell you. Climate change is a good thing. Climate change, you know, when I came up here, I used to, you know, run the turnpike a lot. And there's a, there's a big sign in Huxley, we'll have it up there. And it says, Green New Deal is, a, is Pennsylvania's off switch, or New York, America's off switch, something like that. And for me, it, it's, it's almost humorous that that's on there. And now the Republican Party is acknowledging it's real. Which, which tells me that it's probably much worse than we know. I don't follow the cop agreements. I don't. I don't follow all that stuff. The, you know, the the, the different discussions on it. It's too depressing. It's, it's too. It's honestly too depressing, because it's the acknowledgement that this thing was. It was always as bad as people told us. People warned us. I go back and I, I watch them. I watch some of these videos for warning us about climate change back in the 80s. They were right. In some cases, worse than, than they thought. So to follow all that and realize nothing's gonna change, and in fact, we might elect a, a guy that's gonna make it much worse, that's gonna act, uh, you know, what I call criminal negligence, knowing the climate is real, but he's gonna contribute to it. It, it, it really is depressing to me, too depressing. But how can you hold, you know, they talk about black, white, and then, which is holding two different opposing ideas at the same time. How can climate change be real and not be that bad? But at the same time, you're saying that climate change is America's off switch. So what you're saying is, we're all gonna just run into the brick wall of the country. And Trump is just pressing the pedal. He's gonna press the pedal down, we're gonna hit the wall full speed. We know there's a wall. We know it's gonna hurt. We're gonna do it anyway. And we won't even have a discussion. I, I, I just, I, I remember, I remember as a kid, you know, listening to that stuff and the Republicans making it sound, oh, you know, climate change is not real. Because I remember like about like 2008, no, 2000, like 2011, 2010, them saying, well, it's real, but it's not human made, you know, human caused. And to now see it in the guise of, oh, well, isn't that, you know, that's, that's terrifying. I've said this many times before, and I'll say it again. If we had some kind of machine, some magic machine that could avert climate change, 
suck all the carbon out of the air. And we had all the different state governments got on board with it right now, like, like immediately. I still don't think it would help because the Republicans will take it to say they don't care about being wrong. Okay, you have to get out your mind. They don't care about being wrong. They would say, see, Ronald Reagan was right. There's no limit to human ingenuity. We can always figure it out. And no matter how bad things get in the 12th hour, we'll figure it out and we'll be able to, to uh, 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 fix it, avert it, put the fire out, basically. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I just realized that Republicans back then, like, it's like now, are full of crap. And people want to say Martin Taylor Green, all of them are bad. Because they don't have the polish. That's how it is. They don't have the polish. But you're still looking at the same devious, diabolical liars that you had back 20 years ago when I was a kid.